It's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young, old, they think the old music is better, but, you know, I'm not so sure. And today, as you see from the thumbnail, we're going to hit up Atlanta's Faye Webster. So I did a reaction to her quite some time ago, and I liked it. She's got a new album out. This particular song, But Not Kiss, it's actually nine months old. It was released in June, but I just became aware of it. So, hey, you know, <laughs> there you go. But if you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button, a senior reacting to 21st century music. Let's go ahead and hit it up.
lot of humor in that uh, video. You know, it, it sounds simple, but really, uh, there was a lot going on in that song. So you had that uh, piano figure that would come in, then drop out, and then you would really hear the bass, then the piano figure come in again. And her voice is really distinctive. And then on the chorus, the yeah, yeah, she'd bring that. I mean, the song had so much interest in it. It wasn't typical at all. I've never heard a song quite like it, like that a lot. And then later, as the song progressed, you start to get some uh, string synth coming in there. And then later, there's some, I don't know if it's slide guitar, but guitar that was you know, changing, bending on the pitch. And so she had so many different elements in there and her voice is very distinctive. Yeah, I like I liked that song a bit. When I read the lyrics, I thought, yeah, lyrics are okay. But she really sells the song, doesn't she? Uh, puts everything into it. The arrangement was really well thought out, well recorded. Yeah, like I said, you had Alan oh, the drums. I don't want to forget the drummer because he had some really interesting drum patterns in there. Like I say, everything seemed simple, but when you really listen to it intently, everything was very deliberate and there was a lot going on and it was a very clever arrangement and it was very uh it had dynamics, it was very syncopated. It would and at times it would drop out and you would just hear her strum this real simple guitar and then and would come music again. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I liked it a lot. Faye Webster. Sorry about this ad on here. Ugh. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I loved it. I'm going to give it a, uh, I, th I think it's a grower that the more I hear it, the more I like it. So I'm going to give it an A, you know, I'm going to give it an A because I, because that piano figure is going to, be in my head and then at the end when they played it on kind of a almost a toy piano although it looked like a, a big organ in the video it sounded more like a toy piano so many different elements in this song it just goes to show that you can uh, write a song that's simple and yet you can do so much sonically to add interest to the song i i thought it was great yeah and uh and a good lyric, too. I guess I'll finish by talking about the lyrics because this idea of, uh, yeah, just hold me, but I don't want to be intimate. Uh, she's gone through some kind of breakup, and she's on the fence. And and I like that. She's not all in. She's not all out. She's just like, right now, this is what I want. And uh, let me sort things out later, which is life, right? Perfect. Faye Webster, good stuff from Atlanta. Uh, if you like what we're doing, like I said, hit that like or subscribe button. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.